I'm not sure from where, but he came this way and he walked all through here and he was waving the, like some person's leg and well, he was he started chewing on it over there he was biting it and then he was hitting it against the wall and everything and he was eating it hey, you are looking at what a witness says is a man eating a detached leg the detached leg came from a person hit by a train near the wasco amtrak station earlier that morning well, on the leg the skin was hanging you can see the bone Jose Ibarra tells Eyewitness News that when the man walked past him with the leg, he believed him to be homeless. Ibarra is unsure where the man came from. He says Kern County Sheriff's deputies stopped the man after people from the Amtrak station called the police. More videos sent into Eyewitness News shows the man waving the leg around. KCSO says the man is 27-year-old Rosendo Tellez. Tellez was arrested for taking evidence from the scene and had evidence. multiple outstanding warrants. At this moment, investigators haven't said who the leg belongs to or who was hurt in the train crash, but we do know that one person died. Tellez was arrested and Kern County Sheriff's Office say it is an active investigation. Reporting in Wasco, Lena Folk, Eyewitness News. All right. I want to say Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shai, Ko Halala Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Recha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Uh, from the GMS New Jersey camp just here to do another lesson in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and hopes to edify those of the whole four elect and as I say always hopefully you get something from the lesson that builds upon your faith toward the Lord it's all about faith don't let nobody tell you different all right the most high gives the gift of faith to those of the elect all right and you're all and you're saved through grace all right faith but through grace all right, if you don't got faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the scriptures say it's impossible to please him. That means that you ain't gonna make it. So it's all about faith. Um, I got a few videos I'd just like to share. Some were sent to me, some I came across myself. Uh, like particularly this video I came across myself. Um, you know, you got a lot of things that are happening. This is something we spoke about, we speak about all the time. Right, because us brothers here in Great Millstone uh, focus a lot on prophecy, you know, because that's the times we're living in. Remember, Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy because we're hoping to get out of here. We're hoping to be delivered. We're hoping that we're part of the first resurrection, first fruits, the elect. We're hoping that our sacrifice is found worthy in the Lord and not be reprobates. You know, if we do, the scriptures say, if you um, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. The same shall be saved. So giving diligence to make our calling and our election sure. For one thing, you've been called. Another thing, you hope to be the elect. You know? See, we understand the scriptures. The Lord is not dealing with all the Israelites today. Yes, there's a great awakening. Yes, Israel uh, is waking up. And I mean the people, not the land. The people is the, the Israel is the people before land. And a lot of Israelites are waking up, right? But not everybody's the elect. Not everyone is going to be saved on this side from the Heavenly Father's wrath. All right. So this video, you heard the uh, video as I played it, you know, a, a bum or something eating a leg that that kind of got that they got cut off from, I guess, a train wreck and the person died. But, you know, it's not to me. I'm looking at it, you know, because these things happened before, you know, in the ancient times. You had a lot of lunatics, you know, you had a lot of legions, uh, demons that was on people. You know, Yahweh Shai went around healing men, women from these things. So you can only understand that this is just repeating itself. You know, you got a man today in 2024 running around like he got a piece of steak, you know, and he just eating it as these guys witness it. These uh, contract workers and stuff wit witnessing the man doing that. How much more on a larger scale? You wait till a famine, you know, a famine of food and water come. 
you know at the same time i have a video that was sent to me also uh, about the bridge you know we all know the bridge collapsed in baltimore um but there was also a bridge struck uh in oklahoma you know so check this out man you see the the pattern you know i wouldn't be surprised this week another bridge gets struck or collapse this is hitting your supply chain if they knock these bridges out bro that means you trap you trap wherever you at right you can you can't move the way you want to you can still move but your foods where the truckers are going to go to deliver your food if these bridges get knocked out man it'll be a lot harder for them to move around you know but anyway this will lead to what a famine eventually if the electricity get cut out what's going to lead to a famine all right everybody is going to defend for themselves it's called survival of the fittest man you know most people that work and you know go out and take care of their bills and do they do diligence to make that bread to come home for their family well everybody's going to resort to taking care of their family it's all about them you know so what you need in a time like that you're going to need faith all right faith so um i had a topic that i would like to bring out what i brought out plenty of times before which is the uh, vision and i want to touch on that again so i'm gonna look up the definition of vision it says the faculty or state of being able to see number two the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom all right so vision vision is what the faculty or state of being able to see you want to be able to see all right scriptures that come to mind the lord said um wisdom the the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thou times all right it's, uh, another one a prudent man foresee of the evil he hideth himself you know that man or woman is blessed of yahweh bashim yahweh shai to have the vision to see what's coming down the pike you know repenting to the lord right now is a very special thing it's a it's a very great thing to do for an israelite because these are the ones that can repent you know the scriptures say when one um uh how it goes uh when one repent the angels rejoice even the angels rejoice when they see one of the lord's elect repent and come back into the fold you know it's all about that cluster of grape that the lord kept to himself that elect you know that's from second edris but it says the faculty or state of being able to see so you want to be able to see and how do we see we don't just see with our bodily eyes we see through the knowledge wisdom and understanding of yahweh bashim yahweh shai which the lord allows us to see what prophecy all right when the prophets go out and teach the lords give gave them the vision all right the word all right through the rakakwadash the holy spirit right and to teach the most high's word okay so that the others that's of the elect can see and get ready all right because there's a great gathering from our lord yahweh which is coming all right there's a marriage there's a marriage that's about to happen and it's going to be glorious so you see why the angels rejoice when one repent because prophecy is truly fulfilling itself so number two the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom in our case is wisdom the scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thou times it's going to keep you stable knowing the right from wrong knowing that yahweh shai is on his way all right so when things go haywire or when they say shit hit the fans what do we have we have our faith in yahweh bashim yahweh shai and we're not only just gonna have faith we're gonna have great faith you know great faith yahweh shai said if you have uh faith as a grain of a mustard seed you know you can you, you can move mountains so we got to have great faith and how do you acquire great faith you got to pray you know first off it has to be given to you by the most high and then you exercise that faith this is why you catch hell it's why you go through shit you know if you're a part of yahweh shah's body you're going to go through it you're going to have your rocky roads you're going to have your ups and downs you're going to be attacked man spiritually you're fighting a great fight of faith 
You know, it's not just given to you and then all of a sudden you good. You know, we are right in the in the in the Lord, because the Lord got us, but there's a fight that you have to fight. You know, you have to prove your integrity. Job did. He proved in his integrity with the most high. Because when you read that, what was the tempter doing? He told what he told the most high when um Satan came among the most high and he called him, he said, What you think about my man Job? He said, if you take the hedge away from him, right, from protecting him, you know, he will curse you to your face, right? And so the Most High put it up for a test. Did Job ever cur curse the Most High to his face? No. Job had integrity. So we learn a lot from Job, you know, and that story, that account, we learn a lot from it, you know, because all of us are like many, many Jobs, man, you know? So that was that, right, vision. So, you know, as you saw this video here, I'm not going to play it back. You know, I played it in the beginning. Um, guy eating somebody's leg. This is going to come on a larger scale. You know, if you go to back to Deuteronomy 28, also, too, it tells us a little period of history when Jake, you know, was eating their own kids, you know, eating their own children, excuse me, you know, eating belts and shit like that. You know, which, what you think is going to happen on this time. You know, this time it's going to be even greater than what it was before. You know, that's why they got the TV series and shows out there of zombies and Esau's in the laboratory whipping up potions. And, you know, certain things is going to come out here and it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. You wait till them lights get cut out. I, if the lights, when the, when the lights get cut out and everybody has to defend for themselves. I can only imagine the most craziest shit going down, you know, shit that you can't record, you know, you won't be able to record because the phones will be off. So it's going to have to be word of mouth, you know, somebody believe in your report because, uh, you know, you know, believe in your report from what you say and not actually seeing the video. You know, I, I believe when shit like when the shit go down like that, that's when brothers going to receive also that power. Scriptures say they shall be willing in the day of thy power, you know, performing miracles and all of that, you know, time is coming for this devil's end. All right. So mm, I'm not going to play it again or should I? All right, I'll play it again. It's only a minute 27, but let's move on. I'm not sure from where, but he came this way and he walked all through here and he was waving a, like some person's leg and he was he started chewing on it over there, he was biting it, and he was hitting it against the wall and everything. He was eating it! Hey, what the fuck You are looking at what a witness says is a man eating a detached leg. The detached leg came from a person hit by a train near the Wasco Amtrak station earlier that morning. Well, on the leg, the skin was hanging, you can see the bone. Jose Ibarra tells Eyewitness News that when the man walked past him with the leg, he believed him to be homeless. Ibarra is unsure where the man came from. He says Kern County Sheriff's deputies stopped the man after people from the Amtrak station called the police. More videos sent into Eyewitness News shows the man waving the leg around. KCSO says the man is 27-year-old Rosendo Tellez. Hello. Lunatic, man. A lot of people going to go crazy, man. And, you know, there's talks about, you know, everybody's talking about April 8th. You know, I, 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 hey, I, I think nothing might not happen because too many people talking about stuff. But after that eclipse, I think things may happen. May not on that day, but weeks later, days later, something big going to happen. You know, a nice, uh, well, a nice, uh, a big crisis or something like that that he could capitalize on. You know, and they talking about uh, a biological, you know what, and I'm not going to stop saying it. Bill Gates predicted that the next pan, you know what, it was going to be a biological, you know what. Bill Gates predicted it. So don't forget, you know, he said it, you know, he said it two years ago. Or was it a year ago? Two years ago. You know? When we was in the heart or the, we was in a, the heat of the first one, the first pan, you know? So, <laughs> these devils are, are cooking. 
you know, their witchcraft, you know, and it's going, things going to be released. They, so they say, that's what they saying. You know, it's a lot of shit. I would just say, if you don't know about it, go start looking it up. You know, what's going to happen on April 8th when you're going to hear a lot of people talking about it. Some people who don't know what they're talking about. And some guys got resources. Uh, some people seem credible from what they're saying. But at the end of the day, you got to wait and see. The truth is, you know, us of the hopeful elect that know the scriptures that the Lord have called upon, you know, we understand that there is going to be Jacob's trouble and it's going to be hell on earth. All right. It's going to be sedition among men, invading one another, one another, you know, second edge is 15, second edge is 16. So whatever, how it, it, it happens, it's going to happen, you know, so you got to expect these things. So let me continue was arrested for taking evidence from the scene and had multiple outstanding warrants. At this moment, investigators haven't said who the leg belongs to or who was hurt in the train crash, but we do know that one person died. Tellez was arrested and Kern County Sheriff's Office say it is an active investigation. Reporting in Wasco, Nina Folk, Eyewitness News. All right, let me bring this out. This is Proverbs chapter 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So the scriptures say, where there's no vision, the people perish. So two-thirds of the Lord's people here in Babylon the Great, who the Most High have kept sleep, right? What's that, Romans 9 and 11? Let, what is it, 11 and 7? What then Israel have not obtained that which we seek it for? The election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. They have no vision, so they're going to perish. They're going to take the micro C hip. They're going to do whatever the, the mind control tell them to do. They're going to follow the herd, right? When shit hit the fan and they're going to be destroyed. They're following the herd now. Everybody's in their folly. It's all about them and their career. You know, women chasing rod and money. You got ninjas out here chasing, chasing the bag and fame. So, you know. They're going to perish because they have no vision of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's word. You know, not that they can't see with their bodily eyes and they can't hear. But the point is, they don't have the vision of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They don't know what's coming. They don't know that the Most High is going to send his son back as a thief in the night. They don't realize and take heed or consider that the Most High exists and that he's going to judge them. You know, so where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So we rehearse in keeping the law because we can't keep all the law. All right. If we can keep all the law, we will be in power, but we're not in power. So we rehearse the righteous acts of the law of the law. We keep them to the best of our ability. You know, we, we keep it in sincerity. The laws that we can keep, we keep and hopefully through grace. Because that's what we're under now, grace, right? Through our faith that the Lord has given, we'll be saved. The Lord would improve us not iniquity. He would take away our transgressions. This is all so important to understand. You know, it's overlooked with certain men and women. Or I'm going to say men, you know, because they're the teachers and the heads of the house and these different camps. And they don't, you know, really let everybody know that, look, it's about faith, you know? Everybody can cut a devil up if you know this word and been in this truth long enough, you know, and show off and get the views, you know, because you carnal minded, you know, or you're doing more things that pleases man than you are pleasing the most high. See, when you're pleasing the most high, all right, you're going to stay hidden, man. All right. Unless the Lord's going to work or work with you. But if you're pleasing to man, you're going to receive your consolation from the most high and that's your reward. So it's best to please the most high because we want to get that dub. My, my, the dude say a oh, blue blood, uh, half a dub, you know, <laughs> uh, inside joke, boxing uh, uh, subscriber, boxing subscription, uh, blue blood. Y'all brothers know, y'all watch boxing. He always saying that somebody dropped some money, but we want that dub, man, that W at the end, you know, so. Let me read this, Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say of Yahweh, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. 
Then shall they call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all nations and from all the places whether I have driven you, saith Yahweh. I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Because ye have said, Yahweh have raised us up prophets in Babylon. The prophets are the ones who the Most High give his vision to his word to, his understanding to, so that they can go and give understanding to the Lord's people. See, the prophets have been called seers before they were called prophets. And they will go out and they will teach and prophesy the word of the Lord. And for the Israelites to actually take heed to and repent or to acknowledge the Most High and what the Most High wanted. Now the prophets, they do the, they go out, they prophesy. But when they prophesy, right, and they edify, the Lord is only going to allow certain Israelites to get it. And that's the elect. So not all Israel is going to be saved this time. Israel was saved as a nation when we was in the time of Egypt with, with Moses. But this time, it's an election. The Lord have numbered two thirds to the sword. All right. So if you got jokers around you, family members that don't believe, Look, they ain't meant to get it on this side. All right? You got to move on. You can't be bent up and hurt or feel some type of way because they can't get it. You know? The Lord didn't call them. He called you. All right? Yahweh Shai spoke of the parable where, or the saying where he went into, two shall be in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. He was giving you the understanding that, look, this is about an election. Not all the Israelites going to be saved. Not everyone that know they Israelites is going to be saved. Put it like that. All right. Scriptures say, don't be just a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. You will consider and you would do be a doer of the word. You will have some works. Right. Which works proves your faith. Apostle Paul said faith without works is dead. You can't say you got faith and then you don't have any works. Your works prove your faith. You know, so. It says, because ye have said, Yahweh have raised us up prophets in Babylon. And that's where you get the vision. The vision from, which is the vision of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Remember, the Most High controls everything. All right? So let's move on. All right, this video here, a little laughing video here. You got this Mo, you know, right here talking. And check it out. It says if a chair could speak. Yeah, he had no business up here. Me, this must be some church, something with doing with church. And you got this more up here on the mic. Talking about something and immediately I did something, something he prophesied and then his chair break. That was the angels doing that. Getting the laughing, man. The most high has a sense of humor too. You know? Even though at the same time the most high is going to destroy you, you moles and you transformers. You know? Check this shit out, man. He should have prophesied that fall. Moving on. <laughs> Floor County, this All right, this is the bridge in Oklahoma. This is a quick news report. Let's see if I could bring it closer. Floor County, this afternoon, a barge hit a, was hit on a bridge, Highway 59, causing the road to shut down temporarily. Excuse me. Five News reporter Parker Abels was there and has reaction from a witness. Saturday afternoon around 1.20 p.m., a barge ran into this bridge on Highway 59 in LaFleur County, forcing the Oklahoma Department of Transportation to shut it down for a little over two hours. Dayton Holland was out fishing with her dad and boyfriend when it happened and walks us through what she saw. And look, just to check on the barge, and it's really close to the bridge. And I was like, Dad, I said, is it 
is it about to hit the bridge? And he's like, no, I don't think so. And he turns around and he looks at the beach ball and then he looks back at the bridge and he was like, oh my God, yes, like it's about to hit it. One of the more shocking things to Holland is where the barge hit. And it, it was crazy to me that it hit it like in the middle of the barge. Wow. You know, like it wasn't the side of the barge. It wasn't it, like it was going dead for it. And when the barge hit the bridge, she said it sounded like a gunshot. Initial hit was very loud. Um, it sounded like gunshots going off, which was another scary thing. We, we never heard anything. And when the barge hit, they broke broke apart from each other. Some went downriver and some went towards the bank. But all in all, she's just glad that everyone is okay. Just so thankful that it didn't break the bridge. I I couldn't imagine if it would have been cars would have been going off. I, the Oklahoma Department of Transportation inspected the bridge and declared it safe by their engineers around 4 o'clock and reopened the bridge. No word on who owned the barge. In LaFleur County, covering news where you live, Parker Abels, 5. Always some unknown, but there you go. They tried to take that one down. I guess the Moose High wasn't with it. So let me get this straight. Baltimore Key Bridge got hit. Then... That same day, I-480 bridge was burnt down. Now, Oklahoma bridge was hit. But the only difference about the Oklahoma bridge is that they just did damage. They couldn't knock the bridge down. Isn't it mighty strange? Nah, it ain't strange. That bridge after bridge after bridge is getting attacked. Hmm. That's the problem. That's the problem with Jake. You know, that's the problem with these people in this stupid ass society that they keep putting shit out there as if it's strange. You know, <laughs> it was, it's just a coincidence. It just so happened. It's not just so happening. It's purposely being done. You know, stop, stop, put, stop questioning it and accept it. Know what it is when you see it. You know, <laughs> that's the problem. Isn't it strange? You know, like it's a coincidence, like it's not planned. It's just so happening to be happening. Remember last year when the oil spills and the water, the chemicals, remember the train derails that just so happened in every other state, the train derailed, then it's an oil spill in the water. <sighs> Use your brain, man. This never happened ever before in history. Bridge is getting damaged back to back. Do you find this to be a little suspicious? Just a little suspicious? Wow. That is comical, boy. I tell you, making anything for viral videos, man. Um, that's that's basically the point. That's it, man saw these videos want to make a lesson out of it right so this is what we got the vision right the vision as i went over in the google what is vision the faculty of state of being able to see all right being able to see spiritually all right it says the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom all right the most high gave us knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these times right so the vision, right? Now, let me bring this out. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Uh, no, we read that one. So like it. John 16 and 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whosoever, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and 2. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. This is prophecy. All right, Psalms 37 and 4. Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto Yahweh, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So you're supposed to trust the process and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? It says, Commit 
the way commit thy way unto Yahweh, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And so far, you know, since I've been in the truth, <laughs> you know, from the way things are uh, back then to compared to now, <laughs> the Lord is bringing things to pass. He ain't lying. <laughs> he ain't lying. Because <laughs> we see it. We see it. All right. Uh, this is the book. This is long. Uh, that's it. You know, I'm going to leave it with that, man. The vision. All right. I'm going to read the definition one more time. The vision. It says uh, vision, meaning the faculty of state of being able to see, the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. All right. So call halal la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, for, for allowing us to have, you know, this pleasure in knowing, you know, the truth, you know, understanding the scriptures and the word of the Lord, you know, having this, um, this, this true understanding and actually able to see it, you know, at this point we see that this place is falling, you know, from somebody that can't see it's falling is because they, they still in folly, you know, they still in the world. We're not a part of the world. That's the whole point. Yahweh said, I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. Why they hate us so much, man? We're not a part of this world, man. <laughs> Fuck this society. Fuck Esau world, man. <laughs> you know, this place is finished. It's done. It's wicked. It's filthy, man. Look at all these celebrities getting exposed. You know, all is all coming out now. People used to laugh. We say Illuminati. Illuminati? That's a conspiracy. And now all this shit coming down the pipe. All this shit being revealed about all this witchcraft and selling their souls to false, making a false bargain to these deities. All this shit is coming out now. <laughs> Man, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.